Welcome back to Everything Vision Pro. Today, we're diving deep into the latest updates from Apple, focusing on their much-anticipated Vision Pro headset. In this tech roundup, we will explore three pieces of news related to this awesome new device. Now let's get started. First news, Vision Pro launch date speculation. So let's kick things off with our first news of the day, the rumored launch date of Apple's Vision Pro headset. There's a rumor going around that it might launch at the end of January. This scoop comes from a report out of China, but take it with a grain of salt because the source isn't always right about Apple stuff. They think the launch might be on Saturday, January 27th in the US, but here's the twist. They might be mixing up the dates with China's time zone. Over there, January 27th is actually a Friday, and that makes more sense for Apple since they usually launch new things on Fridays. Now, Apple doesn't often launch products on Saturdays. They like doing it during the week when more people are paying attention. Plus, Fridays are a big favorite for their launches. As of now, Apple hasn't given a specific date. They just said the Vision Pro would come out early this year. Some experts like Ming-Chi Kuo think it'll be around late January or early February. Meanwhile, Mark Gurman from Bloomberg is betting more on February. So we'll have to wait and see Second news, Vision OS updates. Moving on to our second big news, the recent release of Vision OS 7. This is the operating system powering the upcoming Vision Pro headset. So Apple just released the seventh version of Vision OS. It's the software for the new Vision Pro headset. They last updated it about a month ago. Right now, only a few developers can use the Vision Pro to make sure their apps work well with it. Most people can't try out the Vision OS yet, and we don't really know what Apple is adding with each update. But here's a cool part. Apple is inviting developers to special Vision Pro labs all over the world. If you're a developer, you can go there, try out the Vision Pro, and even get some help from Apple's own engineers with your apps. The Vision Pro itself isn't expected to come out until early 2024, so Apple still has time to make it even better, both the gadget and the software that runs on it. Third news, Vision Pro Headset Insights. Next up, our third segment focuses on the Vision Pro headset itself. Revealed last June, this headset is nearing its grand debut. Apple's been working on this cool new headset for so long, and they showed it off last June at their big WWDC event, and it's almost ready to hit the stores, probably this February. Apple told everyone about it early, so app developers could get their apps ready. It's going to be first available in the US, and it seems like Apple wants you to buy it in stores or pick it up there so they can make sure it fits just right with custom pieces and even prescription lenses if you need them. Apple employees will provide you with the right knitted headband, Zeiss prescription lens inserts, and light seal for a good fit. It looks kinda like other virtual reality headsets, but it's made of glass and aluminum, which makes it feel really fancy. Some people who tried it out say it's a bit heavy, but Apple might add an extra strap to help with that. It's got these super sharp 4K micro OLED displays, which are even fancier than what other headsets use. Now, this headset isn't going to be in everyone's home. It's pretty pricey at $3,500, and Apple only plans to make about 400,000 of them. It's a mixed reality gadget, meaning it can switch between virtual reality and augmented reality. You use a little wheel on the side called the Digital Crown to change modes. It's got a bunch of cameras and you control it with small hand movements or by looking around. Plus, it's got this neat feature where others can see your eyes on a little screen, so they know if you're in your own virtual world or not. Even though it's a bit pricey, it's super exciting because it's packed with the latest tech. Think of it like the early days of the Apple Watch. It started off expensive and a bit bulky, but it got way better and more affordable pretty fast. That's the hope for the Vision Pro too. Fourth news, future of Apple Vision Pro 2. Let's talk about the future. Apple's planning significant upgrades for the Vision Pro, particularly with the display technology. They want to use these super cool micro old screens that are brighter and more efficient. This news comes from a market research group called Omdia, 
they're saying that in 2027, Apple might switch to a fancy type of screen called RGB OLEDOs. This new tech is way better than the old Wold screens used in the first generation model because it doesn't need a color filter and makes everything look brighter and more colorful. Right now, Samsung is the only one who can make these RGB OLEDO screens because they bought another company called Imagine that knows how to make these displays. If Apple goes ahead with this upgrade, they might start using Samsung instead of Sony for these parts. Apple's expert, Ming-Chi Kuo, who agrees with Amdia and thinks the Vision Pro 2 might come out in 2027. He also mentioned that Apple might not update the headset until then. And there's some talk about Apple maybe making a cheaper version by 2025, but people aren't sure if that's really going to happen. So, we'll just have to wait and see. Fifth news. New Apple Design Patent Apple has just come out with a special cover for their Vision Pro headset, and it's been officially shown in some new design patents from Hong Kong. They were given 70 more patents all about the Vision Pro. A website called Patently Apple found these first. They even have pictures of this never-seen-before accessory from all different sides. This cover is made to fit right onto the Vision Pro's headband. It's got this nice, soft fabric that covers the front and sides, but it doesn't cover the back or the part that blocks out light. It's probably made to keep the eyesight display from getting scratched or damaged. Plus, there's a little tab on the side so you can pull it off easily. There's another cool thing Apple patented. A battery for the Vision Pro. Some people got it mixed up and thought it was a new kind of MagSafe battery pack, but it's not. The important thing about this battery is that you can disconnect the cable. That's a pretty handy detail. So, Apple's really making sure they've got everything covered for their new headset. Sixth news. Kuo predicts Vision Pro launch. Lastly, Ming-Chi Kuo, who knows a lot about what goes on in the supply chain, says that Apple will start getting a bunch of Vision Pros in the first week of January. He wrote about it on December 24th. Based on when they get all these headsets, he thinks they'll be in stores by late January or early February. Kuo also thinks that Apple will send out about 500,000 Vision Pros in 2024. Apple first told us about the Vision Pro last June at their WWDC event. They said it would come out in the US early in 2024 and then in other countries later in the year. Kuo's guess about the timing comes right after another report from Bloomberg's Mark Gurman. Earlier this month, Gurman said that Apple was making the Vision Pro as fast as they could and was hoping to have it out in early February. So it sounds like the Vision Pro is almost here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts and expectations for the Vision Pro.